still birds back there? Why, yes, there are. <laughs> Music's loud. I'm still getting everything sorted. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Brett. I literally just woke up. I mean, what, there's a five hour difference, right? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. It's 8 a.m. Unless you mean just generally when you first wake up, you it's hard for you to like get going, which I understand. The way I read it was, I literally just woke up as in, it's so late. <laughs> It's 1 p.m. Yeah, I know. Where I am, it's 1 p.m. Yes. Not where Brett is. <laughs> they don't. No, they just have little ties. Okay. Thank you, Twitter fairy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Dungo's finally clean after all this time. Bless you, laundromat. <laughs> Bless you, laundromat, for existing and changing my life. Yeah, it's a company called Lucy and Yak. They're like a, a really wonderful, mindful um, clothing and accessories company. Uh, and so I got these. Hold on. We knock, don't we? Thank you for knocking. Coming. Here, we'll swap to this. Okay. Yes, my love. Hello. Wow. Look at you in your beautiful dress. I'm gonna sew that. Okay. Wow. Um, chat for context. This dress has been missing for months. How long have we been looking for this dress? Um, for eleven days. Eleven days. That's so long. Yeah, and we found it today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Finally. And it was in a little box closet. It was. It was in a basket in my closet. What That's on earth? Weird. How weird. Why was it there? I don't know. Me neither. I'm just glad that we found it, huh? How, how did your... Uh, I'm going to hold that your whisk of my outfit. So it has a stretch. Mark? Does it do not look fit? <laughs> Don't lift it, baby. <laughs> Why? Because our private parts are private, aren't they? Huh. So if you want to show it off, you gotta go put on trousers, okay? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Yep. Both, please. I'm gonna put on trousers. Okay. <laughs> You're still gonna have to put on trousers under the skirt. I hope you understand how this is going. <laughs> oh, this is my life. <laughs> I know, yeah, the way she talks is like, 
it's so different now. It's pretty wild. Here, I'll just do this for now. <laughs> um, yeah, she talks more and more like an adult, uh, like like how she um, shapes sentences and things. Yeah, I'm wearing dungos. My kid is in and out and uh, <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to show off clothing. So, all the stuff you've added to the background. Thank you. Oh my God, is this the last? Do we get to swap to? Yes, I have to finish my um my pan PNG for tomorrow. Although tomorrow's a Wednesday, isn't it? <gasps> I know. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIV has been so good lately. I'm very excited to play more. Um, for context, everybody, uh, no spoilers at all. Uh, but Endwalker is very long, the newest expansion. And so uh, it's taken Tiri and I quite a while to get through it because... Um, uh, a lot of stuff has happened while we've been trying to play it, including a death in the family. Um, so it's it's been really, really difficult for us to get through it very quickly. But um, it's been kind of nice because a lot of the people that are watching are like, yeah, I finished this forever ago. You know, like I'm not worried about spoilers. Um, so it's it's been pretty chill. And somehow both Tiri and I have not been spoiled on anything. So we've had like genuine reactions to everything that's happened. It's been it's been really nice, um, but yeah, we're currently in a section that is like is so good. <laughs> I finally started Stormblood. Stormblood's fun. I didn't realize y'all were still actually playing too. <laughs> yeah, we're still we're still doing the expansion, Nick. It's been taking forever, but it's fine. I think we're past the halfway point at the very least. <laughs> She keeps coming in here and being like, this? Did I do it? I'm like, are you wearing trousers? <laughs> Go show daddy. Go show daddy your cool big tummy. I think she's just shoving clothes inside of the dress at this point instead of wearing trousers. <laughs> you know, whatever works. Um, yeah, but we've, uh, we've, the information, uh, is a bit, like, dicey still, but, um, there's reason to believe that there are, uh, weird legal things about having chat up if, if, um, your stream is going to remain as a VOD, which I think is why Ko doesn't do it. Uh, so I sometimes I'll do it at the very beginning, but not during the actual stream, just in case we ever needed to cut it out for some reason. Yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, privacy laws. Yeah, so just just to be safe, um, we don't we don't keep chat up. 
Basically all streamers I watch have it up without issue. Yeah, we're just trying to be safe. <laughs> No one posts the entire Morbius script in chat. I mean, God, I certainly, I certainly hope no one just has that on hands. No Morbin time? I hate it. Yeah, because all of our VODs go on YouTube. There's, it's just, yeah, there's there's all kinds of stuff. And obviously, like, those sorts of laws will be different depending on where you are, but. I've seen, like, a half the movie on Twitch already. I finally saw somebody, somebody was like, oh, have you seen the GIF that's just the entire movie in one GIF? <laughs> um, so I, I finally was exposed to that. Uh the gif format of the movie that's literally just the entire movie in in normal time and also the gif of the movie that is 30 seconds long <laughs> yeah that's a good point please do not post that gif in our discord <laughs> We've, we don't want it <sighs> Morbius is a great background movie. I wouldn't want to just focus on it. I have had many a movie in the past that I would say is not a great movie, um, but was the perfect movie to have on while I was just mindlessly trying to get through homework in college. <laughs> Mm, it is certainly a movie that happened this year. That's true. I didn't... Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't even know it came out. I didn't know it came out. And then I started seeing a bunch of Morbin, Morbin jokes, but I didn't know what it meant. And I had no idea it had anything to do with Morbius. <laughs> I felt very old. I was like, what is Morbin time, Google? <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling to get through Moon Knight. Yeah, I was like, should we try Moon Knight? And Sam was like, nah. Mommy, help me find my Elsa wand. Your Elsa wand? Hmm. It might be in um, the basket that the blankets are in downstairs in the living room. I don't think it is there. Oh, I thought I saw part of it there. Because last time we had it was your birthday, right? In the living room? So I think, I think it might be down there. It might be in the basket. It's worth checking, huh? Yeah. yeah, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna swap back. <laughs> I have, I've had this for a long time and it was sitting amongst my scarves and I hadn't done anything with it in so long that I was like, oh, that scarf like kind of matches the dungos. Maybe, maybe I'll put it, maybe I'll put on a scarf. I used to be a scarf kid. I used to wear scarves in like every video. That would be fun. And then I picked it up and it's the size of a blanket. <laughs> like, oh, actually, never mind. I won't be doing that. <laughs> So now it's it's draped on my on my chair. <laughs> Could be a cool study hall. Oh, cutting it down to scarf size. <sighs> yeah. Maybe. Mm. 
I just realized I don't have earrings in. Not that that matters too much, but I'm trying to keep earrings in just so that the holes in my ears are very tumultuous. <laughs> People seem to really like Moon Knight, but the main character kills me. Oh, we've we've heard like very middling shit about Moon Knight. Nothing that's like, yeah, what a great show, you know. A blanket scarf means you have both a blanket and a scarf. It feels kind of like I only have a blanket. <laughs> oh, of course I watched the new Chippendale. I watched the new Chippendale while um, my mom and my sister were here. Uh, I talked about it. I talked about it after we watched it, but Midnight has high highs and low lows. The beginning and end are very good, but the middle is meh. Interesting. Finger on the trigger, yeah. Well, I thought she was gonna push open the door, but then she just didn't. But I think she's just standing there. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say um, that Jess last night when we were talking about Hellions, <laughs> Jess was like, I'm being evangelized too about Chippendale. And I was like, Chippendale's a fucking wacky ride. It's a trip. Please watch it. Um, so hopefully they will all watch it. <laughs> Cause if you haven't heard me pitch this movie yet, it's somebody was like, we should do who framed Roger Rabbit, but with Chippendale. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. That is, it is who framed Roger Rabbit for like the current gen. It's, it's wacky. It was actually really fun. Like we, we all enjoyed it, so. It just really makes me want to watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit, though. I mean, both both can happen, Nick. In that situation, you just have to decide which one you want to watch first, you know? I had to buy a Pico because of yesterday, and now I'm tired from lack of sleep. I was trying to decide today. I was like, do I want to play... Epico again on stream. I think I want to play something else, but it was a very cute game. <laughs> I watched the 1992 Dracula for the first time because you brought it up and that was certainly a movie. I love that Brett is in here to hear you say that that Brett and I just goofing together while playing vampires <laughs> made someone watch the old Dracula movie. <laughs> Would you recommend V Rising? I've, I've had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I haven't been able to just like sit down and commit time to playing it, to be honest, like, like a good chunk of time. Um, but when I've played it, it's been really fun. And Brett's been playing it. I know Nick bought it. I don't know if, if they've played it yet. Uh, 
My favorite silly vampire film is Van Helsing. I would love to rewatch Van Helsing. Van Helsing is a lot of fun. <laughs> that was going to be the next vamp movie I brought up. <laughs> Sarah Zed's new video starts off talking about Dracula daily. Sarah Zed put out a new video? Nice. There's like 12 Van Helsings. Van Helsing movie. How many get brought up? Um, two. And they, they both have Hugh Jackman in them. <laughs> Is there another one from long ago? Let's go on Rotten Tomatoes. How many Van Helsings are there? Are there ones other than this? There is a TV series. From 2016 on the Sci-Fi Channel. But I think generally, if somebody's like, I really, in I really love the Van Helsing movie, they just mean the first one with Hugh Jackman in it. What? I really love the video where Hugh Jackman gets interviewed by a guy he used to teach gym to in high school. That is so cute. I love that. I've never seen that. That sounds very wholesome. I will never forget for my entire life because it was so sweet. I'll never forget um, doing Geek Enders with Jesse and us running into one of his students. Who's like getting into politics and is like an advocate and all of this stuff and was doing like lots of cool shit. It was really neat, especially when uh, you keep in mind that Jesse worked with a lot of kids that they were like, ah, I mean, <laughs> you know, that they just, they didn't think we're going to really go anywhere. It was very cool. Too bad uh, Geek Enders was put into the Shadow Realm, dude. We need to get those videos and put them up. <clears throat> Jesse was a history and English teacher, um, but he works with a lot of uh, like underprivileged or like low income uh, kids. Uh, a lot of like problem kids, right? I 
so it was really neat for him to like meet one of the kids that he taught as an adult Jesse told us, I remember this story. Yeah, Jesse told a story about a kid who always slept in his class. When he confronted the kid, they told Jesse that he had to keep watch over his neighborhood at night, and school was the only place where he felt safe enough to fall asleep. Yeah, that sort of shit. Oh, yeah. If you've ever, if, <laughs> if, if, like, um, you know, like actual historical events and things have ever come up around Jesse and you've been like, wow, uh, it's interesting that Jesse knows so much about this shit. It's because he was literally a history teacher. <laughs> uh, we're going to be playing more We Were Here Forever on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All Saturday plans canceled. So it'll be 9 p.m. BST, which is like 1 p.m. for Jesse. Um, and hopefully we can play like four hours or so. It's very fun to play with him. <sighs> stretch, 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 stretch. I miss the old dudes and Jesse play weird FMV game videos. I guess it's been a while since we've played an FMV, yeah. I do live in England, yep. I do indeed. you'd have to ask him I don't know like uh, if his degree has like a specialization or anything like that yeah uh, the the short version is I married an English guy uh, we lived in America for a few years and then we popped out a baby and now we live in England so are you doing on this cold summer Tuesday? Good. Good. Um, Bergie's finally behaving like fairly normally. So that's great. Um, Bergie's been like a hormonal mess. So she's just been sitting on the coop forever. So I've been like, maybe I should just bite the bullet and buy a coop that has two nesting boxes. Um, as you guys know, I keep like, I keep being gun shy about getting like a, a 
big new coop because I'm like, I don't know how much longer we're going to live here. Um, but, you know, if the quality of life goes way, way up for my chickens, I think that it's worth it to just get a new situation for them even if we have to move it in a couple of months or in a few months but like the process of getting a house takes fucking forever so i don't know i don't know what like <laughs> it's gonna be at least six seven eight months right like i should just get it anyways are we gonna get the strawberry monster story soon Sure, there's a video on YouTube. Well, there's a channel on YouTube. I think it's literally just called like Art with Kids or something. But um, it's a dad and his kids and uh, they draw things side by side and Clark loves to draw along with them. And one of them that they did is a strawberry monster where you fold paper and you draw a strawberry normally. And then when you open up the paper, you draw like big awful teeth and like a big tongue and stuff inside of it. And uh, she's stumbled onto that video a few times now. And today she was like, mommy, we, we have to make strawberry monsters today. So um, we did, but the, the like hilarious or I guess sad part of it is that um, in the video, they do all of their drawing with permanent marker. So Clark convinced herself like, I have to use permanent marker. And I kept being like, you don't have to. We can use something else. We can we can do pencil and then it can be erased. And she was like, no, they use permanent marker. And I was like, okay. So if anything went wrong to Clark, right? If, if she put a mark where she didn't want one or something, she'd be like, I have to start over. <laughs> there were a couple of times, uh, there were a couple of times where I was able to convince her like, oh, we could turn this into a, you know, an ear on the strawberry. Why not? Who cares? Right. Or like um, she put like a big mark by accident on top of the strawberry. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Cause the, cause at the top of the strawberry, there's all these leaves, right? We'll turn it into a leaf. So we were able to like do a little bit of that, but there were a couple of times where she was like, absolutely not. I can't, I cannot abide by how horribly I have messed this up and I simply must start over. <laughs> so um, she started over, I think four different times. I never fully, com like by the time she started to do the fourth one, she was kind of over it. <laughs> she was like, let's play something else. I'm done with this. But it was, it was very cute while we were doing it. Um, and my strawberry monster was horrific, so. <clears throat> You're living like my mom, who's a type B, raising a type A, me. <laughs> um, I, I, I try to, you know, like, I try to help her not f zone in on bad stuff. Um, but sometimes it's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> But it's very fun doing craft stuff with Clark because she's so just like. <gasps> Coming! Ugh. Thank you for knocking. She's like somehow developed, I don't know if you would call it a secret handshake, but that's how it feels. Um, she does, it's the same with me and Sam, but it's like, 
you hug, you kiss, and then you blow a kiss, you catch it, and you put it inside of your heart. That's like how she describes it. So, <laughs> and she gets really upset if you, if you don't do the whole thing, or if she blows two kisses, but you only catch one, she'll be like, wait, you have to catch the other one. Or like, um, my sister, when my sister was here and, and I would drive Clark to school, my sister would like stand outside of the car and go, Mwah, right? And one time blew two kisses and Clark had the window open and so she caught a kiss and I started to roll the window up and she was like, no, no, roll the window back down. I haven't caught both kisses. <laughs> like such a huge deal and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> I apologize um <clears throat> the best part though is occasionally she'll RP that the that the kisses are trying to escape so we'll do the whole thing. She'll catch the kiss, she'll put it in her heart and we'll carry on as normal. And then she'll be like, oh, phew, it almost got away. And I've realized now she means the kiss. <laughs> like it'll be like an hour later and she'll suddenly go, oh, it was trying to fly away, mommy. <laughs> At first I was like, what? talking about it's very funny <clears throat> um today she had me rp as a backpack <laughs> we were doing bug safari which is one of her favorite things to do so we've got all these little bugs and um, we hide the bugs all over the house and then she goes on a safari, right? And normally you're going on the safari together to find all of the bugs and you use all of the little tools that she has to like safely catch the bugs and put them in the box and stuff, right? Um, today she decided that uh, we were going on, I hit all the bugs and then she was like, okay, and now we're going on the safari. And I was like, okay, great. And, um, <laughs> Took out all of the tools, but just had me hold all of them. She just kept handing me all of them. And I was like, what am I, am I doing the safari too? Are you going to hold some tools? And she was like, no. I was like, okay, so what's, what's my job? And she was like, you hold the tools. <laughs> and I was like, but you have a backpack for that. And she was like, I don't want them in the backpack. I want you to hold the tools and then I will do the safari. And I was like, oh, Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> you pass butter. It was literally that kind of vibe. What is my purpose? You hold tools. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was my job. I got to lacklusterly uh, walk after her while she did a cool safari. So, you know, sometimes being a parent isn't all fun and games, you know? <laughs> she sounds so bossy. You know, it makes me feel better, though, because the number of, uh, like, parent TikToks and things that I've seen where it's people just, just like, goofing so hard on their kid <laughs> as catharsis about literally that thing of, like, your kid, uh, stop me if you've heard this one, parents who are watching, where your kid walks into the room and goes, okay, so t so now I'm I'm your mommy and and you're me, and but this time I want you to say, hi mommy, and now say it. <laughs> and you're like, even if I do say it, they're probably gonna be upset with how I said it. I probably won't say it right. <laughs> <laughs> where like play has to be like perfectly constructed play for some reason <laughs> when they give you a script it's so funny I agree I think it's hilarious my niece does that all the time yeah it's it's very funny 
or if you've played a game and they loved it so much that they ask to play the game again and you think to yourself, stupidly, you think to yourself, I'm going to make this fun because I'm going to change something about it, right? They're like, remember that game where, 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 where daddy was the monster and, and we had to get the magic apple to give to the monster? And I'll be like, yes, I do remember that game. And she'll go, I want to play that game again. And you'll think to yourself, okay, so daddy isn't here, so I'm going to be the monster, right? Um, I'm going to ask for a different fruit. I'm going to ask for a different thing, a surprise, right? <laughs> They're going to show up to the cave. Clarky's going to show up to the cave and ask the monster for something. And the monster is going to go, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll grant you one wish. But first you have to find a golden pear. And she'll be like, no. <laughs> No, mommy, that's not what you say. You don't say that. That's not the game I wanted to play. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry. I thought, thought I might change it up a little bit, Um, but okay. And like, I get it in... It's because I'm I'm an adult, right? So I'm like, it's not that fun to play the exact same thing again, always, right? Um, but kids are constantly learning through playing and you never know what it, we've talked about this before, but like you never know what it is they're trying to get out of that game, right? They might only really be able to explain to you like, I had fun playing that, I wanna play that again. There might be something that that they like really got out of that for whatever reason, and so they want it done exactly the same, <clears throat> which is which is fine. It's just as as the grown up, you're like, but isn't it boring when it's the same? <laughs> That's a good way to put it. It's worth remembering. It's kind of like watching a movie after reading the book. You expect certain things and when they're changed, you go, but I liked the way the book did it. That is absolutely fair. Guys, this she, she's not gonna stay this way forever. I don't need to turn this into a life lesson of like, too damn bad, tough, tough shit. <laughs> it's a pair now. She's playing. <laughs> I don't need to turn it into a thing. <laughs> I can just be like, okay, fine. It's an apple. Go get the apple. Sorry, some of the reactions in this chat are very funny. Oh, hi, Chad and Dodger. My dog Milo helped me propose to my girlfriend yesterday and she said yes. Thanks for all the support on Discord and Sam's Discord, everyone. Congrats! That's wonderful.
My dog snored so loud she woke herself up. I've done that before. <laughs> Do you lose access to the Discord if your sub expires? Our Discord is open to everybody. Um, we have a couple of sub-only channels. Uh, they're literally just places for people to put stickers when they're bored. <laughs> they don't. Do, nobody does anything with them. You're not missing out on anything. You're fine. <laughs> they're very important sub-only channels. I'm sorry. You're right. They're extremely important. I do love the idea of a monster conspiratorially asking for a golden pear. It's fun. Like, we've talked, uh, I mean, we've talked about just about everything before, so I don't think that I need to constantly preface with that, but we were talking recently about how I don't think that all parents should have to play pretend. I think, um, depending on the type of person, um, pretend is just like not something that they uh, enjoy doing as a parent, right? And I think there's plenty of other things that you can do with your kid that is really enriching and wonderful. Um, I love playing pretend. I fucking love it. <laughs> um, but I think one of the reasons that I don't really care too much about... Like, if, if she would rather that I do everything the same, that's fine. Um, I find it much more interesting when when she changes stuff or when she, like, comes up with something really unique and creative and we get to talk about that and I get to ask a bunch of questions, you know? Um, I think that that is so fun. And she's like, ah, this time, yes, I've come to the cave and you're the monster, but this time I've brought my pet snail. And I'm like, wow, a pet snail. How interesting. Uh, how big is the pet snail? And she's like, um, as big as a house. I'm like, oh my goodness, how did it even fit in here? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like that sort of stuff I think is so fun to like see what she comes up with. theater kid loves playing pretend shocker i know She's definitely, oh my gosh, she's definitely very curious about Neon Divide because she, the number of times that she's walked in while I've been doing it and you know, whatever is happening here is on the TV, right? So she walks in and she sees me doing fucking weird shit. Um, and she always asks like a million questions. Like, are you a mushroom right now? What are you doing? Who is that? <laughs> like, okay, go back to bed. <laughs> have you told her about moral uh just that i i'm a mushroom and i make medicine and i give medicine to people that's it but uh the characters that she's seen and asked about she's seen the cactus girls and made it very clear that they are cuter than i am which is fine <laughs> it's true it's fine <laughs> um and who else? Like, like, cuter than moral. What else did she see and ask about? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, right? Like, uh, her walking in on, on me playing VR chat is, I think, perfectly fine. I don't I can't think of a single thing that's happened in Neon Divide like from Moral's perspective that is not something I would want her to see. I never see any of the fighting really or any of that. Uh there's been one situation where I've been attacked by something. So I think Moral's very cute. Thank you. I also think Moral's very cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I don't know how many of you guys watch Hellions, by the way. I was just thinking about this because Nick is in chat. I don't know how many of you guys watch Hellions, but uh, we got to do some more like yuli lore yesterday and it was <laughs> so much it was very cool jess is a, a really lovely dm <clears throat> we were talking about like how uh how you Yuli is and and this came up during session too because I went to do an arcana check and only had a plus one and everybody was like you're a wizard <laughs> what the fuck um but I I built Yuli to be like a one-off character right to show up for a few episodes and then and then vanish which is not what's happened um so we were talking about how uh, I really need to to kind of like rebuild her on the on the back end so to speak. Uh, but it was cool because we got to reiterate a lot of the stuff that we had already talked about with her, like, um, <laughs> a very unique wizard, right? Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> um, uh, welcome, you Wolven, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the cat gang. Anybody who was gifted a sub, be sure to say thank you. It's very sweet. Thank you very much. Um... Uh, but yeah, it was it was nice to also have the opportunity to to reiterate like what had happened with Yuli and what was going on with Yuli and all of the things that hadn't really come up yet, and then it immediately came up in the next session, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Hellions is a and d show I'm in, yeah. It's a, sh it's a show that's been going on for a while and then had like a retcon, basically. Not a retcon, but like a... Uh, it's, it's definitely not a retcon, but uh, sort of a reset. <clears throat> uh, and so... Um, it was kind of... Basically, I was asked if I wanted to guest on Hellions because Nick and I know each other. Uh, and Nick was like, we're looking to have guests on, on some of the D&D stuff we're doing on Going Crit. Do you want to like join one? And I was like, sure, that would be great. And I talked with Jess and I was like, it's a guest character. So I'm willing to build whatever to help you move the plot along, basically. And so I was given a bunch of cursed information. <laughs> I was given a bunch of information um, and we planned out like, okay, so this is who this character is. This is what they're for. This is, you know, I was basically trying to set up a character that could give the players information that they needed in order to proceed. Um, but again, I'm, I've just kind of like stuck around and then they officially asked me to stay on. And so I'm going, okay, so that's not what this, that's not what this character's for anymore, <laughs> right? 
So um, I have to kind of rebuild her, but I do like, I like the idea of her. I like the bones of her, if that makes sense. Uh, but the bones of her gives her a plus one to Arcana because it was the concept is basically a, a wizard that's like really snoopy. So um, they're a conjuration wizard. Uh, so she can conjure like small things to help her like get into places or or to get around things and do stuff. Um, and so basically everything that I had as an option, I sunk into, into Dex, Stealth, um, Sleight of Hand, right? So she's built like a rogue, but is a wizard. <laughs> um, and I think, I, I, I think that like, that's a, that's a cool idea. I still like that. I just need to make sure that she's, that she's like useful, you know? So what is this? Yeah, so that's the question, right? If that's what I want her to be, then really the the like backstory question for her is because she's not a sorcerer, right? She didn't just wake up setting things on fire by accident or anything like that and just be like, well, I guess I'm doing magic, right? Like she chose she chose to study magic, but obviously has the skill set for a rogue is is much more meant to to like pursue that avenue in terms of her like natural talents so why did she do that <laughs> you know um so i think i might i might uh multi-class i think that that makes the most sense is to like have enough points in wizard to have what i want from the conjuration tree but then have the rest just be rogue yeah <laughs> basically what don seeker just said yeah <clears throat> is Nick is Tink multiclassed or he's not entirely um Artificer, right? But I like the conjuration thing, so I don't just want to be an arcane trickster. This group is oops all casters, it really is. He has one level of cleric. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think I think that would grant a lot more usability as well if if she was more rogue than anything i would <laughs> there's more that i could do with that you know the tink is very cute This is Hellions. It's um, it's basically a D&D &D game set in Adventurer's College. <laughs> so we're all a bunch of students who are um, wrapped up in like weird shit that's going on on campus. <clears throat> yeah, I, oh my God, last session, um, Ned's character, Monty, took out his sword and my brain went, one of us has a sword? I like completely forgot that, that any of us have weapons. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, one of us has a sword. That's so useful. <laughs> um, so yeah. <clears throat> What was the thing I saw a bit of in which Dukes plays a bunny person? That's Godforged. I play a, 
I do play an arcane trickster in Godforged. <clears throat> Godforged is also great. It's DM'd by our friend Joe. Um, and Joe is like a fantastic role player and a really good DM. Um, and I play Fabia, and Fabia is just like a chaotic little piece of shit. She's very cathartic to play. Joe is, Joe is powerful, yeah. Yeah, I, I played an Inquisitive Rogue once, um, and it was really cool. I, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff in there. I think that's what Logan is in Deadbeats. Brett's in here. He can confirm or deny. I'm pretty sure that that's what Logan is. <clears throat> it's much more like detective-y, which, which would suit like a Snoopy person, I think. Inquisitive rogues are super fun in RP heavy campaigns. Well, am I in luck? <laughs> Hellions is basically only RP. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers, but um, Joe did a fantastic job in the like in the prequel side story that we did for Deadbeats last week. <clears throat> only rp and then we get in combat and sweat here's what's hilarious right is it's it's oops all rp oops all casters right and then the second that we're in a situation with somebody that monty or xanth don't like or yenna actually yenna's yenna's a fucking ticking time bomb like the the more abrasive characters <laughs> if we're around someone they don't like they're just like I try to kill them. I try to kill them immediately. <laughs> and Jess is always like, okay, I had a lot of stuff for them to tell you that might've been useful, but, but that's cool. Yeah, I guess, um, all right. <laughs> I was like, guys, no. Jess gives us so many chances, so many chances to like, fix a situation where we definitely should be dead. My group is always killing off important sources of info. Yeah. We can only talk and yet, and yet. Hello, my love. Honey. Ding dong, ding dong. Yes, my love. Are you hungry? I am hungry. What do you want? Um, I could go for a sandwich or whatever. What do you, you want? want? A burger? Sure. Chicken burger? Sure. I'm gonna get spaghetti. Oh, okay. Do you want a flan or a chicken burger? Uh, do they have chicken burgers? Yeah, they have chicken burgers. Oh, sure. I'll live a little. Sometimes I, sometimes I just go in there. You sent her. Sometimes I just go in there and then I leave the door open, you know, and like whatever happens, happens. Well, I'm about to get some lunch and whatever happens, happens. Oh my God. <laughs> Love you too. You can just leave the door open. Okay, do you want a drink or anything? Um, I've got a, I've got a little bit of my coffee left. I'm okay for now. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Has he recovered from playing Blood Bowl? I mean, judging by that interaction, no. <laughs> I 
enjoyed the dramatic flair of the entrance. Unreal. Yeah, I really need to... I really need to remake my... As funny, as funny as these are. So this is, this is Yuli. As funny as this shit is... <laughs> I want to, I want to like, I want to remake it. Um, this was my original, this was the first drawing I ever did of Yuli. <laughs> Just stressed out, stressed out. Are you commissioning someone for new ones? No, I still want to draw it myself because um, everybody, everybody draws their own. We don't have to. Like when I, when I first hopped on Hellions, Nick was like, one of us can do your drawings for you if you want. But I think that it's really fun that we're able to say that everyone's made their own. Um, so yeah, I'd like to still make mine. <clears throat> and then in case anybody's missed this this is what we did for we can start using this as of tomorrow but again tomorrow's normally my day off so in two days <laughs> this is what we made for june which is cute but i have to re i have to recolor all of them now <laughs> So there's four of them that I have to that I have to do this to, but at least I have a base that I can work from. <laughs> Why is the coffee dying? Why is it dying? It's not dying. It's a cat. Four and four angry ones. Um, well, Milky is doing different facial expressions for them for me. So I asked for uh, angry, sleepy, and sad. So, because I feel like the normal one is like pretty happy, like kind of happy gremlin energy, right? So I didn't need one that was like excited, I don't feel like. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Milky's doing alternate faces for them. Yeah, we deliberated on what to do for a while and then decided to try doing the pan colors on the on the actual outfit and then a rainbow pin and then the pronoun pin, which I think is cute. <clears throat> cute overalls, thank you. They're finally clean. Yeah, the plan is, I think, to just take the normal PNGs and slap some stupid clip art on them and be like, great, we're ready for Dracula. <laughs> Because we need to get that shit done. Those are two things that have just been like sitting in the wings for, God, over a month now. for too long. Where can we watch Hellions? Uh, if you do exclamation point Hellions, uh, that shows you the Twitch channel as well as everybody who's in it and the time and all of that. Yeah, exactly. I want it, I want it to be like, you know, 
the normal PNG but with like weird little fangs and the normal PNG but with like, you know, a top hat. <laughs> Is there a VODs channel for Hellions? I have no idea. There might be. Oh my god, it's been pouring rain off and on today. Oh, last man heroes hit their goal. That's exciting. Right now they're just on Twitch. Okay, that's what I thought. I hear background music can't hear it oh my god it's extremely loud on my end um what episode do I join Hellions on so uh again because it was sort of like a um a restart <laughs> so to speak uh they, I believe, just started getting listed as episode one, episode two, episode three again. Oh, it switched to Hellions of Karnak. Oh, right. Yes. So this is considered, like, the second season of Hellions. Because Hellions, I believe, Nick, correct me if I'm wrong. Hellions originally was like a side campaign in the same world as another campaign that was going on and is now its its own thing. It's our relaunch season. Yee yee yee. The music. It exists. It got confusing because there were two DMs, etc. Yeah. Um, here's here's what's been confusing me lately is uh the planet <laughs> the planet that um, Neon Divide takes place on is called Hellion. <laughs> so occasionally when I'm in the Neon Divide Discord and someone mentions Hellion, I think, am I in the wrong Discord? <laughs> and then I remember, no, that's the planet is different things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> really good oops <laughs> I mean you know it's a good word it should be used more no it's only occasional yeah they are spelled the same the the, the thing is is like we're called the hellions because we gave Jess a lot of trouble yeah I think that's fair um the fact that the planet is named Hellion almost never comes up in Undercity. We don't talk about it. We barely mention the fact that, like, there are things happening off planet. We're very self absorbed <laughs> in the Undercity. I 
I'm willing to admit that. <laughs> we're like, we're like extremely obsessed with our own business and nothing else. <laughs> But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really, uh, for um, Neon Divide, it doesn't really come up as well because I believe in the lore, the city that we're in is the only, like, there isn't another city, right? We're the only, like, city that is on the planet because the rest of the planet is nearly uninhabitable. I, I think is is the thing. So there's no point in like going out trying to find other people on the planet because there really isn't anybody. Um, there's the people in the wasteland in Scrap Town. And then there's stuff, there's like monsters that exist out in the, out in the wastes. Um, and that's, and that's basically it, right? Like that's the planet. <laughs> So it doesn't come up because no one ever needs to refer to the the planet as a whole as if it's like more beyond us because there isn't more beyond us. Yeah, that's the other thing that's weird is like we've we've been talking about that a lot as well that um in the grand scheme of things the places where um uh Neon Divide happen is not is not the whole city, right? Again, in lore, like the the row that people live on in the game is one of many rows. It's only a really small part of what's going on. So we've talked before, like, are there is there potentially like another undercity, right? Like we don't know. <clears throat> so it's hard to try and like, at this point now, um, settle on, okay, so what, what does this city look like? You know, where are the places that we are RPing? Where are those places in the grand scheme of things? Is there more beyond it? Which I think one of the things that lends itself to saying like, yes, there is, is map expansions, right? Um, map expansions have been talked about. And if you say, well, no, this is it, then what are you expanding into, you know? Is there life off planet? Yes, there is. So uh, there is what's called the Galactic Union. Um, I'm, I'm really like dicey on this part of the lore, but basically like all of the major corporations that are on Hellion, as well as kind of like the major government um, is all a fraction of that actual corporation and government. It is what has been put in place on Hellion um, to represent those entities, but is not the end all be all of them. <clears throat> So we'll have, there are some characters that literally just show up occasionally and we'll be like, yeah, I was off planet, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. <laughs> just coming down here to like check on shit. It, it makes it a good excuse for why somebody who's like a really important character in terms of, of like a corporation or whatever isn't there. Is Moral native to Hellion? Y yes, because Moral was grown by one of the corporations. So Moral, Moral was grown in a lab, but from the spore of like natural fungus on Hellion.
We need Kraken back from time to time. Dude, yeah. It's always fun when Kraken shows up. I'm sad our characters never have a reason to talk to each other. And Moral will never willingly go to Upper City. Ever, ever, ever. So I've cut myself off from like an entire section of the map, you know? sure how the trident people would take all the mushroom people there are i would say that the the corporations i know the most about because i know the most about them in character is avalon and geb those are the two corporate so um uh, geb i know about because we're concerned about them um affecting our resources and Avalon I know about because they grew me. So. Can a player have more than one character in Neon Divide and switch between them? If you are a player character, you have your one character. Um, but players are always told that if they would like to uh, like if one session I was like, you know what? Moral's just not there today. If I wanted to take a session and be an extra um, for a session or for half a session or whatever, I can do that. And then they'll give me a character to play, um, like an NPC basically. Uh, but in terms of like a major player character that has, you know, a sheet and flaws and edges and all of that set up, you get one, yeah. There's lots of great extra characters that have turned into players. That is also true. Occasionally, extras will be asked if they want to play a recurring NPC, quote, end quote. Um, so currently, Komoroshi, who... Uh, Komo shows up in chat sometimes. Komo um, has worked on my model a lot. and He's lovely. Um, has started playing a recurring NPC named Lee. And, uh, you know, potentially, if he wanted, could next time they're looking for characters say Welcome, i want lee to be a, a character now like a player character i want this babe. to be my character um and then and then pitch like a whole character sheet and stuff that's happened a lot where where people have played recurring npcs that have become very beloved or have like established roots in the game and then um when given the opportunity decided to just keep playing them Imaru, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Converted a prime sub into a tier one sub. Thank you. Oh my god. There's so much thunder right now. What the fuck? Yeah, well, I think it's important to remember that at the end of the day, everyone is is there contributing to the RP, you know? Um, the extras are just as important as the, the people who have player characters. Um, the hope is that all of the extras who are interested will at some point be able to have a player character if that's what they want. Um, some people just love being extras. But at the end of the day, everyone is contributing to the RP and is having fun and, and doing their thing. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Who 
Who's your favorite Neon Divide NPC? <sighs> My favorite NPC. Um, the the Grove Spirit. Probably. The um visual who also comes by to say hi a lot. Visual plays like a a big um Grove Spirit that hangs out with me at the cafe all the time and it's awesome. <laughs> They're just like a, a big a big chunky spirit that just chills in the grove, chills at the cafe. Is good. Yeah, that's the other thing is, is plenty of extras are tapped to play characters that are part of a story weave. And a story weave is something that is created to um, uh, give story to one or more characters um, to help them achieve goals or, uh, or sort of explore avenues that they are interested in with their character. Uh, so what's going on with moral is based off of something that I gave to the DMs currently in the story, <clears throat> which is very cool. It was really open-ended for the most part. I was like, I'm interested in exploring like this kind of a thing if you guys want to do that. Um, and they did. And so I have a story weave going currently. Some story weaves require um, or are, you know, more fleshed out by going to the extras and saying, hey, we have a character that we would love for somebody to play that will aid in a story weave. And that character might like wind up really involved with stuff, you know, <laughs> and they might stick around. They might just be a, a character that just keeps coming back. And at that point, it's kind of like, well, you know, we have an opening for a player character like <laughs> I know, thunder is so calming. It's great. I should say for me, it is. It can be very, uh, for some people, it is not calming at all. <laughs> they do not like it. I really like thunder. Thank you. Um, this has been dirty for a while and we've had a lot of trouble with doing laundry and we finally just went to the laundromat and brought a bunch of stuff which um, I think is just the superior way to do shit uh, and I was like oh my gosh my dungos are clean hell yeah <laughs> I look young. Uh, thank you, I guess. I love thunder and lightning, but we never get it. That, I think that's part of it is that it's so rare for me to experience a thunderstorm. So it's... I'm kind of like, ooh, how fun, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Who's your favorite Star Wars robot? Uh, I I feel extremely neutral about Star Wars in all aspects. Um, there are some parts of Star Wars that I find more interesting than others, but for the most part, I'm I 
I don't feel strongly one way or the other. <laughs> so I don't, uh, all that to say, I don't know that I have a favorite robot. Some of them make cute beep boops. I certainly do. I haven't done Wordle today. Let's see. Let's see if I'm powerful today or not. Okay, I have all the letters. Okay. Let's try. Cool. You guys are good luck for me. I literally do it the fastest if I'm on stream. I don't know why. In, in the other types to be honest I've tried them all um, I wordle is like the perfect um, skill level for me <laughs> anything that makes it more complicated or more specific is not as fun for me Did he do framed, guessing a movie from screenshots? I don't think so, but I'm really bad with, uh, um, daily moving guessing game. Uh, wait, how does this work? Okay, so you see a picture and then you type in the name of a movie. six guesses of movie but do you okay um <laughs> I typed in a movie and it didn't and it is acting like it's not a movie. Oh wait, oh, you can scroll. But I don't, but I'm confused. It's not, it, does, it can't find my movie. They have a very specific movie list. It has limited movies. What? Uh, okay. Oh, and then each time you guess a movie, it changes the screenshot? Oh, interesting. So with each guess, you get another screenshot and you can look at all of them. Interesting. Can I not see the the screenshot bigger? Oh my god. What hell is this? No, this is not for me. <laughs> mm -mm, not for me. Cool. 
I already know so little about movies. <laughs> mm -mm. You know who's probably amazing at that is Kristen. Kristen watches so many movies. I'm not really a movie person. I, lo I love TV shows. I don't love movies as much for whatever reason. Oh, my cat got teeth pulled and now he's all about head butts. Oh, sweet boy. I think like, I think what it is, is I don't, it's really rare for me to enjoy the experience of like, like I like going to the cinema. I, because it's like, I'm, I'm going for the express purpose of watching a movie, right? Like the, everything is, is right for me to be in the right frame of mind to watch a movie. But typically when I'm home, if I put on a movie, it'll probably be difficult for me to pay attention or to like stick with it, you know? I find movies too long and get lazy about them and then I'll watch five episodes from a TV show. That's what I'm saying. What is that? <laughs> I'll put on a movie and be like, oh God, I don't want to commit to this right now, but I'll, I'll put on a show and just leave it on in the background and have a blast with that. But again, I won't be like fully focusing on the show, you know? Shows have very different pacing, it's true. No, we still haven't watched the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. Shows are like very short movies. Or maybe it's it's also like with a movie, every moment has to be important with a movie. That's not the way it is with a TV show, right? Like you can kind of tune in and out with a TV show sometimes and be like, I know what's going on. I know what's happening here, you know? I miss TV shows of old where missing a few episodes literally didn't matter. I watched a video talking about Lost. Um, it was a YouTuber, who, a YouTuber who was like, we, uh, my wife and I put on the first episode just like as a goof. Um, but then we watched the whole fucking thing. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that like, this show's actually great and you should rewatch it sometime. And now I really want to rewatch Lost. It is Drew Gooden. Yeah, I, I had never watched him before, but he's apparently huge. His videos have crazy numbers of views. <laughs> I've watched all of Lost. I really enjoyed it while I was watching it before. But you know, the show's been memed on so bad at this point. <laughs> um, but like, I enjoyed it at the time when I was watching it. I thought it was great. Uh, so I'm kind of like, I'd be down to rewatch Lost. You know what I tried to rewatch recently? The first season of Heroes. Um, as much as I was obsessed with heroes and kept being like, well, the first season was amazing, but like, you know, it really went downhill after the first season, which I still think is true. It was still difficult for me to even watch the first season and I'm not sure why.
Have we ditched the no capital letters rule? I accidentally put capital letters in the title and immediately somebody was like, capital letters, bleh! And so I decided to just commit to chaos in the opposite direction and put more capitals in there than there normally are. You're welcome. <laughs> why I subscribe. It's for you. What? Oh, it's the, oh, it's, oh. oh. It said, are you ready for cheaper tickets? And I was like, I don't have an app that I get tickets through for anything. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this app? And then I realized I do actually because uh, I downloaded the while my while my mom was in town, I downloaded the the like train app to get train tickets easily. <laughs> it turns out cheaper tickets are the best kind of ticket to tickets, I think. you know. I get the same notification about three times a day. I don't think I've ever gotten a notification from that app. That's why I was like, what is that? I didn't even recognize the, the like icon that popped up on the notification. I got confused. <laughs> I was made for loving you, baby, and you were made for loving me. It's the train line app, it's good, but Jesus, the notifications, yeah. Yeah, I, I found it really easy to buy tickets and stuff with it, so I have no complaints. It was just, I forgot it existed, that's all. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't know what actually happened with the Mona Lisa. All I have seen are memes about the Mona Lisa, which I guess is just like, you know, perfectly encapsulates how shit happens. <laughs> that something occurs and then you're like, people are memeing about Mona Lisa, is there a reason for that? Someone threw cake at the glass. Nice. <laughs> Someone tried to break the glass and smear cake on it, but they couldn't break the glass. You know, I guess if you're gonna commit to something. <laughs> so people are goofing, but nothing actually happened to the Mona Lisa. Is, is what what happened to the Mona Lisa suspect arrested after Mona Lisa is smeared with cream cake go on think of the earth people are destroying the earth man dressed in a wig said while being led away from the Louvre the Mona Lisa survived unharmed a visitor in the Louvre in Paris tried to smash the glass, protecting the world's most famous painting before smearing cake across its surface in an apparent environment-related publicity stunt. They've been detained. An investigation has been opened.
They were initially throwing roses in the gallery. Guy says an old lady jumped out of the wheelchair before lunging at the bulletproof glass. This is a quote from somebody. Maybe this is just nuts to me. He then proceeds to smear cake on the glass and threw roses everywhere before being tackled by security. A Mona Lisa has been behind glass since a Bolivian man threw a rock at the painting, December 1956, and damaged her left elbow. In 2005, it was placed in a reinforced case that controls temperature and humidity. In 2009, someone who is angry about uh, getting French citizenship threw an empty teacup at the painting and scratched the case. Wow, the Mona Lisa gets a lot of shit, huh? People are like, if I really want to piss off France, <laughs> here's what's that, what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack the Mona Lisa. What did she ever do? Let her live, dude. Ah, <sighs> she's a small painting in a cruel world. Ain't that the truth? On that note, let's take a quick break uh, and then we'll come back and figure out what we want to play. Um, uh, stretch, grab a drink, take your pills, whatever you need to do. Uh, think about the Mona Lisa. I don't know, whatever feels right. Um, and I'll be back in just a minute.
Sorry. Our food showed up like right as I was <laughs> gonna be coming back. And Sam was like, our food's, our food's like nearly here. I was like, ah, it's ah, shit. <laughs> Yeah, so now I have things to eat, so that's good. Um. Okay. Um. I'm trying to figure out what I'm in the mood to play. You'll be delighted to know that uh, Clark is still super into floppy nights and asks to play it all the time. So we've played floppy nights quite a few times. <laughs> okay, let me get myself situated here. I just brought a bunch of shit upstairs. <laughs> She was good at it. Yeah. Hear me out. Slay the Spire. You know what? It is on the list because I think Brett suggested it the other day. <laughs> Brett used channel points to suggest it. Because he's a goof. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, well, last time when I played Little Witch in the Woods before, uh, it was, um, it was just the demo. I forgot that it's out, out. Hold on. I think that would be really fun. Let's do that. Oh, dang it. Oh. Okay, so before it was the demo, now it's out but in early access, correct? It needs me to reauthorize my PayPal, which means I need to grab a different phone. One crack. headphones are awesome. <laughs> Okay.
Okie dokie, artichokey. Come on! I'm just, <laughs> I'm just watching it desperately try to buy this game. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Yeah, my my uh, PNG, it does blink. It does indeed. Message Astro. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we set that up on stream last Friday, actually. So I use a different program now. It doesn't use Discord. Um, it's pretty nice. Bye, Queen Casual. Or I guess you're gonna be lurking, so enjoy cooking. Yeah, I was just downloading a game. Uh, I think we're gonna look at Little Witch in the Woods again, because we haven't looked at it since it was a demo. Oops. Um, this is a pretty adorable game from what I recall, so I'm not sure what warnings there would be, but um, let me know. <clears throat> no backseating, please. And no spoilers, please. This includes mechanics, storyline, all of that shit. Um... If you want to talk about that stuff, we have a channel in our Discord called The Spoiler Void. Please go there, because you'll get timed out here. It has some cute spiders. Okay. in the woods oh that's kind of fun to say a little witch in the woods warnings <laughs> okay let's uh get going that's from uh, a new album called stardew and chill it's the new game chops album so um if you liked all that music that was on loop today that's the name of the album it's good shit okay let's turn that down just in case Grab this, and we'll see how the volume level is. Oh, looks like I might have made the right call. Okay. I'm sorry for any eating noises you might hear. I'm, I'm trying to like lean away from the microphone when I take bites. Um. Oh, is this a? Is this a controller game? Okay, yeah.
how weird the response is really on the d-pad the response is really bad <laughs> and i don't know if it's because of my d-pad but i don't think so how strange okay i think the beginning is probably exactly what we played in the demo but that's fine don't use d-pad for the menus it's bugged oh okay that's good to know I wonder where the carrot was. You still thinking about that? Well, we found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about legendary carrot soup recipes. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yeah, there are just some lines you don't cross. I mean, we searched the whole school, save for that place, and we never found the carrot. I need to move myself. One sec. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. Meow. It's like I'm having a convo with her. <laughs> yeah, I'm the main character now. Everybody shut up. Okay. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you just ask Will? It's the men's restroom after all. No, that coward finds it and he'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind, if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Ugh, I am just so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It is boring enough to drive anyone insane. A ticket for this train costs 500 pies and it's... Stop is the witch's house in High Lion where all roads lead to. Your second place at the School for Witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the Forbidden Room twice. Three times. I even looked through the Forbidden Books in the Hidden Library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit. It was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. How did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Just cut it out and sit quiet. It's a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed at the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't! I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? First thing to do is take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. Well, I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion, and so she almost couldn't get them off because she hadn't unstrapped them completely. See, Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. Well, that's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. <gasps> lace up boots! A pain to wear lace up boots boarding the train to High Lion. Investigate. The food was really delicious. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelet that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. Ah, the pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the School for Witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch Series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that at High Lion. I'll definitely try the new big... Nubicula cupcakes? That's if I get to Highland before I'm bored to death. Ugh. Damn. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? Then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then, can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. You can initiate conversations using keywords. 
Okay. Want some water? Normal special training? Oh, interesting. What sort of work do you do here? I'm mixing my life and changing the alcohol. Wait, no, it's the other way around. Well, I'm just an average bartender working in the most expensive place in the world. What brings you to this very expensive train? I thought you were listening to our conversation. I stopped listening when it got boring. I'm going to be an apprentice at the witch's house in High Lion. After working as an apprentice for three years, I'll be able to graduate from the school for witches. Wow, High Lion, huh? That's a right proper place, isn't it? So they say. That's probably why you got the train ticket for free. You must be someone special. I don't really care about that kind of thing, though. That kind of thing is what's important at the end of the day. It's best to just suck it up, and you'll be glad you did later down the road, you know. Yeah, later. Something on your mind? Let me know if you need anything to drink. Okay. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? Whatever for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into High Lion Station. You work at the train. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O oh, ye who reacheth High Lion, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. Yeah, it sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. It is so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it, but it's certainly gotten less boring, thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now! I didn't set it on fire! Really? Uh, I mean, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times, having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Well, nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. Uh, I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not gonna ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. You have a point. View your notes to see the keywords you have. Open notes. Lace up boots. Okay, can't go that way. Oh my god, the way I walk is so cute. I wanna die. <clears throat> wow, what a handsome wolf boy. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What is the issue? Uh, I wanted to ask you about something. You're on the way to High Lion, right? Correct. Um, what's... Oh, what is the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. Oh, you sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. What brings you here? Speak! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you live in High Lion? Correct. I own a flower shop. Whoa! Speak! Oh my god, these are going to be very short conversations. Since I'm not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. Okay, great. How do you feel about shoes? Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it would be hard for you when you arrive at High Lion, right? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like that. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! 
Ah, the mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. A joke to make fun of people who visit High Lion for the first time. Ugh, stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. Oh, I'm very sorry. Are you holding back laughter? N no. He's trying so hard to be considerate. Please don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. Oh, that doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molas might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. Well, there's a reason why she's your friend. Go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have to do three or more days. Three more days? It's as terrible as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. I really like food. I'm a, f I'm, a f I'm a food character. It's a familiar face. It was always her name that came up first when memorizing names of witches who had great achievements. Oh, you mean the weird song? I made it as part of an exam strategy. I sang it in my head when I was taking a history exam. And I'm seeing her again in the train. I still like this witch. A witch, help those in your reach. It's a famous saying. Up ahead is the engine room. Small talk is forbidden during operation. Up ahead is the engine room. Uh, oh, okay. I'm an attendant of Brightman Railroads. My job is to ensure the passengers' comfort and safety. And I've got nothing to ask anymore about shoes, I guess. <clears throat> we, are, we are but a simple shonen protagonist. All right, have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Ugh. I'm bored! But you just sat down. Okay, hold on, I need more ketchup. This is torture! Stare out of the window if you're so bored. This is like me talking to my kid. The second I'm not playing with her, she's like, I'm bored, no one's playing with me. <laughs> yeah, look outside, look at the mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars and statues and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. Oh, there's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree? Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, but I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening. Just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crocophants? Aren't there any crocophants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game. <gasps> a boa constrictor! The correct line is, what is going on? Well, there's no station here, so why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please say there's a massive critical issue. Please, 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 please. Oh, we apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue? Maybe? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning. The departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow and we will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember the shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Okay, fine, then we should get going. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <gasps> wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we, we, I mean, we could always go back to the train. I love it. Okay, let's hurry. Memo board. Oh, a shining tree. Oh, okay. Bye, everyone. Oh, saved. Oh, okay. What's this? 
Nothing. Okay. It's a hill. Well, it won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. Well, that's bad news. Classic. Classic climb the vine strat. A secret passageway, Virgil! I don't think it's a secret. Or a passageway. Oh, I bet there's a path beyond here. Yeah, I literally just started. What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed. It grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast, you can never get rid of them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of them. Then I guess we also got to get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train! Well, that can't happen, so let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. You can temporarily get rid of the vines with Weed Terminator Potion, but they'll grow back after a while. Then what do I do? Find the core. It should be somewhere near the vines. Oh. Hey. Great! Time to explore! Please don't use that word, explore. The word gives me anxiety, no thanks to your mother. I sprint! I'm fast! Fast, gremlin! Yeah! Okay. Cran apples. Oh, to just, like, get, get some sticks. The shine- Oh, the shining tree's at the peak of the mountain. Go quickly if you want to see it. We gotta return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going back to that fucking train. You can't make me. You can't make me, bitch. Go quickly if you want to see it. But, but there's, but there's stuff to do. But look at all these. Look at all this. What's all this though? What are these? What are those? Okay, fine. I'm going, I'm going. Where the tree at? There's the town, Virgil! But you have to go to High Lion. Oh, what a shame. Okay, fine. I'll go this way. You don't have the right chalk. What is Sam doing? He's like angry clapping. You know, sometimes when I get pissed at a game and I just clap a few times. <laughs> Too dark and worn down for me to see anything. I don't see words, only pictures. Let's come back when it's brighter. Come back, huh? Maybe I will. Maybe I will come back. A mountain! That's a bad thing. I hate mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Okay. We're just trying to get to the top, right? So it's fine. Just ignore. Ignore stuff. Just go. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Why are there so many things blocking the path? It must be a forest with secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or... Do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, as long as it's drawn well. Teleport, right? Oh, no! 
Interesting. Okay. Oh, we found it! Woo! It's the gigantic shining tree! The same one we saw from the train! This is a bit of grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil! There are a ton of butterflies on it! Oh, you're right! The butterflies seem to be glowing! The blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around them. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight? It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Do you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, I mean, anyway, we've, we've found something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all. Just don't be late. We gotta return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Oh. There might be. I want to touch a butterfly. I want to touch a butterfly. I'm going to take a bite of my food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. I thought I wasn't going to have to read. I don't care what we sleep. I wonder if there's any way I can sleep for tonight. I can sleep on the ground. That's not funny. The blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here. You might as well collect some. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravia said? Uh, death lives under the bed? N no, not that. Draw it before you touch it? That's right. Which encyclopedia? Press and hold the Use Quill button to draw. When the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be reward recorded in the encyclopedia. Okay. Approach it. Use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Okay. Cute! I don't think we- I don't think this was included in the demo. Like, this mechanic. So that's fun. Open it. Yay! A butterfly that emits a soft blue glow from the absorbing moonlight. It is sensitive to sound, but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened. Habitat and time of appearance. Tools used to catch it. Collectibles that can be acquired. How to make collecting easier. Hmm. Great! Registered. Let's see. Do you see why you can't catch any right now? Uh, you can collect them using a butterfly net, and I don't have one. Not much you can do now, then. But I want to do it right now. Well, getting to the witch's house in High Lion is more important. Ugh. Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. Pick it up? No? Okay. Why not? Oh! Blocked off. Okay. Bit my lip. A dangle mango.
It's saying I can't get through it all. Okay. The book is very cute. I want to know what these little shits are. Ellie, we gotta go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! A shiny white cat! I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have... To Let's go after the creature! But first... Chase it! <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh. <clears throat> I think the cat dropped something and left. What is this? Looks like witch chalk. Oh, the thing you used to draw things like a pattern. Well, it looks a little different from the one we used at school. It's just different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. Well, it won't work if it gets erased. You can draw the pattern again using the same colored witch chalk. Well, since I have the one I picked up, let's draw it again. Should I draw the witch pattern again using witch's white chalk? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Noise. I wonder what's back here. A house? A hot dang, wow. <laughs> Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, a house. That's a witch's house. It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay for a while. Doesn't look like there are people inside. Well, if there's no one, then I guess I'll just stay. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at the witch house? That's true, but... But what, Virgil? I like that Virgil's little face glows in the dark. It's cute. Anyone there? Is, uh, is anybody there? Whoop, seems like no one's here. Could be an abandoned witch house. The witch administration can't figure out everything. Okay, let's go inside. Oh! It really is an abandoned witch house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition. Con oh, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But, I mean, the bed looks fine. I can just sleep here. Well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Actions like collecting or sprinting use stamina. You can recover stamina spent by eating or sleeping. The house is a bit messy. Just sleep. Who cares? Oh. Okay, fine. Well, I mean, if I have stamina to burn, I might as well go get more supplies, you know? <laughs> No? mouthful of food version of your avatar that would be pretty tight well like what a lot of vtubers do right is they have a um they'll have like a hand holding food or holding a drink that they'll just put in front of their normal avatar so it's like i'm eating right now
mushies in there. <clears throat> Can't reach them though. Can I shake it? As a reminder, I literally just started playing. <clears throat> so don't ask questions about things that I might not know are a thing yet. Oh! I don't have the right chalk? There's different types of chalk now? It's this way. <clears throat> Fine, I'll just go sleep. Cute! Cute! What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yeah, but... I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on a train, and you dreamt of just that. Should have just slept on the train. Well, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? Oh, really? Huh, is it taking off already? Well, let's hurry. It really is the sound of the train. It's about to take off. We gotta hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. <laughs> the bunnies. <laughs> Do you think we're gonna make it, guys? Start a prediction now. <laughs> huh? Where's the train? Oh, looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But, but where's the train? Oh, it probably went to High Lion. Well, what do we do now? Let's look around the area. We'll find some clues. Why aren't you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mom. I love the idea of a sentient magical hat that gets passed down generation to generation and the hat's like, the stories I could tell. <laughs> What is that thing? It's called a gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. <sighs> Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the gaga bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. A letter! How nice of them to leave a letter. Let's see. I think it's from the bartender. 
you're probably shocked to see the train is gone. A witch appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait. The train was already delayed, so we had to leave. Uh, the train will come back. There's a village nearby where I used to live. You can spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest. Take a look and find the village. When you arrive, send Enite and Arden my regards. Bartender. Oh, the place we saw earlier. That must be a village. Are you even a little upset we missed the train? I mean, it's okay. There's a village, right? We can just wait there. How about cleaning the witch's house? You never know what might happen. Try checking if a village really exists. Okay. Try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well, anyways, I might as well add some more stuff to the encyclopedia. Oh, yeah. What's this way? Nothing. <laughs> What's this way? Nothing. Okay. I want to know what these are. There are little bun buns out here. Did you see? Look! their cheeks. <gasps> Did I not get it in time? Aw, oh, man. There we go. A squishy chub under the ground in groups of two to four curious creatures they approach people first pinching and squeezing their comfy cheeks leaves tufts of soft fur in your hands sounds like i should grab some more yum yum Homes within bushes, they have uncharacteristically large wings. Nice. Okay. Let's go clean the house. <clears throat> and do magic, maybe. Let's get rid of the weed. Oh. Let's get rid of the weed first. There's just too much. It would take forever to pull all this out using hands. Take a look at the bin. Might have a potion to get rid of a weed. There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yeah, there's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Oh. Take a nap. I mean, didn't I, Is it, was that it? Look, Ellie, a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while we're cleaning. Oh, a notebook. Might be useful. It certainly might be. She really messed up the house. Reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. I wonder where this witch is. The one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerin or two. It's a witch bookshelf! Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. Well, that's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? 
because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Oh, stop nagging. I read enough books at school. Oh, let's see. Witch history, the 12 plants, fun book of plants, gardening for witches. Wow, so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store it in books I get. All done cleaning. It's all so messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Ugh, oh, stop bossing me around like a teacher. Finally managed to get out of school. Some, there's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to teachers. Okay, let's hurry up and go down. Well, what if there's a scary monster? <gasps> you think so? Oh, I am so excited. Oh my God, <laughs> it lit up and everything. Oh, hell yeah, here we go. Virgil! This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. Should definitely do some cleaning. Ah, oh, wow, cleaning again. I know what this is, an extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true, it's broken. I'll need a friendly toad, at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. Okay, fine. Let's go to the village first. Oh, fur extract. Witch flower extract. <gasps> what? This box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Wow, what good timing. Really, you don't say. Uh. Oh, are they both? Oh, they're both just, oh, okay. Wow, it's boiling already. This is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Style is uh, very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Oh, of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you end up with a proper potion. Need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. I actually liked Teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. Oh, the other character is the hat. Yeah. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. The mystery burns the lens. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and wait and uh, it's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? Uh, it does seem to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh, yeah, there's no handle for winding the spring. Why would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for basic recipes. There should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, village comes first. By the way, there is nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. Still, the cauldron is fine. The spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. Ooh, what's this? Lunar's oil. Looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of the moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. 
Go away. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Um, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school, ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. Oh, I don't remember it. <laughs> Shall we take a look anyway? Hmm, well, it looks like a recipe. Moon's something? I have no idea. I have a headache. Take a look if you remember later. <laughs> this hat has so much patience. <laughs> I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench. There's no use for it now. All done cleaning. I think we're pretty well equipped now. We can make potions! Even though it's only half as good, can't be processed. Let's try making some stuff with some with the stuff we picked up earlier. Forgetting stuff you learned in school is a big mood, dude, for real. <laughs> it's like when I'm like, yeah, I took, I don't know, like five or six years of French. Oh, wow, you must know a lot of French. Uh, not really. <laughs> okay. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, shoot, the hat said something. It was probably like, ah, nah, terrible idea. What do you mean, why not? I ask because people usually have reasons. Open the encyclopedia. Weed Terminator Potion. The recipe is shown in detail on the page to the right. Ingredients required to craft the selected potion are shown here. Ingredients refer to processed collectibles obtained from animals and plants. Use View Ingredient Information button to view its unprocessed collectible form and its collection target. That's nice. You can view collectibles on the left and collection targets on the right. Put two squishy chub fur in an extractor. Squeeze the juice. Put two witch flower in an extractor. Squeeze the juice. Set fire to stage four. Stir the ladle. Pour in the right vessel. The crafting order is shown on the right. Stir the ladle, don't stir. After processing the collectible, put the ingredients into the witch pot, adjust the fire and ladle as needed to craft. Items you picked up while cleaning are ingredients. Craft potions from them. Try crafting weed terminator potion using witch flower extract and squishy chub fur. Okay, press and hold to craft. But don't I need to do other stuff? Oh, I guess not. Awesome, the stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. Oh, it's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Let's look for the village now. You gotta use it carefully. There are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. Throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. The weed terminator potion is just a temporary measure. I got it. Equip potion. Okay. Okay. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take a nap once per day. Mm, in case you're like going hard and run out of stamina, I guess. Okay. The town is to the east. I guess people do live around here. Okay, let's head east. But it's blocked by something. Throw while aiming. Oh. 
But he said I have to get the nucleus. But he said to make sure I get the nucleus. Oh, I guess I, I throw it and then I hit and then I get the nucleus, I guess. Here goes. Oh. Oh. I didn't throw it properly. Well, it happens. I thought we'd need it, so I had one hidden. <laughs> really? How? Don't ask how. The atmosphere will become awkward. Be careful this time. What? But... I'm so confused. What? Oh, okay. I feel like I did the same thing both times, but that's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, chomping, chomping. Am I winning? I think so. It's so big and fluffy. This isn't a village. <clears throat> Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine. It's so huge and thick. Oh, no. What do I do with the extractor? Well, first, let's take a look around. For a moment, I will do the opposite of that. Or I guess technically I'm doing exactly that. <laughs> wow, they are really big. Too big for weed terminator potion. I'll have to do something else. I'll have to stay at the witch's house for a while. Wisteria. The village is just ahead. Okay, new character. Hello, do you live in the town? Oh, nature is so beautiful. W what? Aren't the trees beautiful? They're green leaves, so pretty. Oh, I mean, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. Oh, you must love nature. How can you not? Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. Wow, she must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation. You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover. Well, that doesn't make sense. I mean, there are lots of quirky witches out there. Curse lifting candy can lift a curse. That should be a basic recipe. But we can't use the machining tool right now. We have to process what's been collected to make potions. Uh, what should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier. Those would be enough to make curse lifting candy. Did you see what's next to her? Next to her? A glass bottle. It would be perfect for the glass extractor. Where? Oh, wow, you weren't kidding. Okay, yeah, let's go make the curse lifting candy and lift this curse. To receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy that can lift the curse in the book. A bee bop. Sunlight potion. Lunar oil. <clears throat> oh, candy. Squishy chub fur and maple herb. Okay, I have those. I have those! Mm. 
<clears throat> okay. Stage three. Do not stir. Craft. Lift weak curses. Courses. <clears throat> I like that it tells us it's tasty. <laughs> like, don't worry, you're not making somebody eat something gross. It is tasty, we promise. Give it. <clears throat> Would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Oh, wow, thank you so much. To hell with nature. Yeah, I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried, tried speaking backwards, writing. I could only praise nature, pure torture. I hope nature rots and dies. Wow, well, I'm glad it was a curse and it was easily removed. Thank you so much, my name is Aurea. How long has it been since I said my name? Oh, my name is Ellie, I'm an apprentice witch. Did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and then it left without me. Oh, dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by prickly vines. Ugh, damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty, oh, yes, there is a witch's house here, that's good. I have business in the village too, but the vines stopped me, nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, let me know if you need anything. Oh, uh, could I ask a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools and parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for winding the roaster. Um, wait a minute, I'll look for them. Sure. Ellie, do you have any money? I do, mom gave me pocket money. When I came out, that makes it sound like the second she was birthed, she was handed money. <laughs> you think you'll be able to buy witch tools with enough pocket money to buy a snack? Uh, is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candy now. Only if people buy them. I found it. Take this. Uh, how much is this? Oh, never mind. Return for breaking my curse. Oh, thank God. Unfortunately, I don't have a roaster handle for a roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Oh, good, yes. Please bring it then. Okay. I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and, and take this too. A candy that quickly heals light wounds. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Oh, thank you. Sure, come back next time. Now we'll be able to fix the extractor. Are you really gonna stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I mean, I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really gonna leave when the train comes? That, uh, I mean, I'll decide that when it happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. I'm a witch now. A real witch. Oh. Pumpkin terrier. What the hell? Pumpkin terrier fur? I really like... I really made that thing go through it. <laughs> Um, 
genommen. Okay, what do I do now? <clears throat> then you want to go to the village? That's true, but it seems impossible to get rid of that huge thing with the recipes I have now. Basic recipe does seem kind of inadequate. So what's your plan? Well, now that the extract has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from basic recipes. If you make weed terminator, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to places that are blocked. A little more, yeah, so the forest. Well, let's look through the forest. There's gotta be something. That's what I'm saying. Oh, does it not pull? Aw, oh, man. I mean, if the chest is always there, I'd like it if all of the machines in here just pulled directly from whatever's in your chest. That would be very nice. <clears throat> no! Or no stir. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yay! Inventory the real first boss. Ain't that the truth? Yeah, wait, can I... How do I... How do... How do I just open my menu? I just took a bite, god damn it, game. <laughs> Witch! It spoke! It's a witch's crow. Is it my witch's crow now? Nice crow, would be a shame if someone just kept it. <laughs> Uh, 
Ahem. It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow. The witch returns. The witch returns. This is my first time coming here, though. The witch returns. Oh, not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services. Goods and services. Witch's catalog. Caw! The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try that out. You gotta head toward High Lion, young lady. But, but I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm gonna make sure I try it out before I go to High Lion. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Caw! Try the witch's catalog. Try the witch's catalog. They're handing out gifts as well. Plus, it's limited time only. Caw! Gift! Multi-purpose glue, kitchen accessories, a spork. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have it in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. Okay, let's register. Thank you. Caw! Thank you. Visit employee. Visit employee. Caw! Visit employee. When? Work finish. Work finish. Close for the day. Close for the day. Oh, okay. So suddenly. It's not easy getting the message across to witches crows. Then I guess I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witch's catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. Why don't, Why are they... I, I feel like... Am I doing stuff out of order? <laughs> it keeps being like, we really need to find the village. And I'm like, I know, I know where the village is. We found it. It's behind vines. <laughs> it's not that I haven't found it. Oh, wait. Oh. are super cute. Okay, I think I got rid of all of them, right? Nice to see it all clean. <clears throat> Virgil, look at that! It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. Oh, we better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. We gotta get rid of it to get to a new place. We haven't been behind there. I guess it can't be helped. I guess I should make weed term- I already did! The witch's life! Collect required ingredients, process them, make them into a potion. If there's anything you don't know, use the quill. It's simple. I've made it once before. I know, I've done all this, thank you very much. Okay. Come on, let me, let me, okay. Okay, acquire. Piece of rock. 
very nice. Ooh! <gasps> A fox! There's a, little, there's a little fox all tied up down there. Hi, baby. Wow, Virgil, there's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know. Um. Ah! Oh, they woke up. Uh, who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Oh, a witch? Oh, wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. Yeah, it's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. Uh, uh, my name is Rum Rum. I, I live in the village with my grandma, but now I'm stuck in a spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. Big spider web means a big spider's nearby. Oh, you be quiet. Don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. Gotta be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. Looks pretty strong. One wrong move, you'll get stuck in it yourself. Well, then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. One maple herb should be enough. I learned maple herb grows on cliffs. I'll bring it soon. Uh, y yeah, uh, come, come back soon. <laughs> creatures usually live in specific environments. Explore the forest to discover various creatures. Don't I... Don't I... I, I left it. Sometimes it really do be like that. Burb. Okay, I got it. Let's go back to Rubrum now. Rubrum is a very cute name. So because I just caught myself posture check time. Posture check, everybody. This is a posture check. This is not a drill. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay. Then let's go to the witch's house together. Oh. Come with me. Oh, you're a baby. Come with me to the witch's house. Let's go to the witch's house. We're gonna be best friends at the witch's house. How dare you call out my shrimping. Oh no! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Well, I can't walk. My legs hurt. We're probably up there for too long. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. Oh, I carry him! It's cute! Come, baby. Yeah, this is... I mean, that's how I treat all of my kids' boo-boos, is I just give her a hug. Oh, isn't it heavy? Of course! Really? Just stop talking. I'm covering up... I'm covering up rub rum, which is, like, not okay. So, um, I'm gonna put myself somewhere else. Where, where do I go? Where shall I live? I don't know where to put myself. Maybe I'm small? I'm smaller? Maybe, maybe that'll work. Upside down, top left. Don't. We'll try this. We'll see. I'm sure we'll talk to Rubber him again. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Maybe that's okay. Well, our village is just a little further from here, but you can't pass through now because of the vines. Yeah, we'll go to the witch's house for now, and we'll find a way. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. 
Oh my gosh, she's so cute. How's your leg? Oh, it hurts a little. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, Grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Oh, really? I'll make sure I get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Oh, before that, I should treat your leg. Rubrum, wait here for just a moment. Right. Uh. <laughs> Imagine going into a cottage and being like, wow, it's a nice small co Oh, there's an elevator. <laughs> Um. How do I just, oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Healing candy needs witch flower and maple herb. Well, shit. just sleep cute um I think I had an important dream but I can't remember it, it seemed like something important <clears throat> oh, saved. <clears throat> cool. Let's go get some maple herb. What are those? Oh my god. Very cute.
Okay. I know I keep saying this, but I love the way she runs. It's so funny. Be right back. Two witch flower, two maple herb. Oh, just one of each. Stage four, stir to the right. to you. Would you like to try this? Oh, well, what is it? Is it candy? Yeah, it's a candy. It heals your leg. Oh, thanks. It looks delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Oh, it tastes awful. <laughs> it's good for your health. How's your leg? Well, I, I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. Candy tastes awful. How did you get caught in the spider web? Well, I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by, and by then the giant prickly vines were covering the way, and I was looking for another path, and then I heard the sound of a train. Oh, that's the one that I was riding. I went toward the train, and a strange bird started chasing after me. Oh, that- oh, it must have been the bird and not the train. It was the bird. I went into a deep place. I was running away, and then I found a treasure map, and I got caught in a spider web. I was trying to pick it up. A treasure map?! Yeah, I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I, I saw it in a children's book. It's a sign of pirates leaving their treasure. Shall we go check? What about the prickly vine? Oh, well, I mean, we can't do much about that yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Oh, Ellie, could I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored. I'm at home all the time. Well, what do you say? Okay, fine, but you have to be careful. Okay. Oh, are you coming? <clears throat> my name is Rub Rum. It's the name given to me by my grandma. The name suits you. Oh, thanks. I saw a moving flower in the forest. A moving flower? Oh, well, it was a flower and it swayed even when there was no wind. Oh, where did you see it? I saw it near the lake. Thanks, I'll go there later. I keep not hitting the shop button. Tea? Homie makes tea. Cute fox homie makes tea. Alert, alert. Cute fox homie makes tea. Alert. Send my mom some good vibes. She's getting her heart checked out today. Okay. Um, okay.
hey, buddy. A boom potion! I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck. The important thing now is I have something to blow things up with. And also, something to blow up. You're excited. Shall we go right away? Oh, I've missed this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on the top of getting into trouble? Hey, what do you take me for? Boom potion? Don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange a boom potion was dropped in a secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it thinking it's treasure, like rubrum. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? I, I don't know. The important thing is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion! Oh, wow, it won't even budge. Must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming off of it? <gasps> Where? Those around your feet. <clears throat> oh, look at this, Virgil. A prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit, but the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. Prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Um, well... Well, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Like Rubrum? Hi, Ellie. Oh, is this a prickly vine? <laughs> I feel like there should be a robot voice. Oh, is this a prickly vine fragment? Oh, fascinating. Do you happen to know anything about it? Oh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. Goodbye. He's following me. Welcome. Do you need anything? Oh, a fragment of that prickly vine. Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what is that? A tool made by uh, some witch. With the power of the moon, of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Let's hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. Oh, that's great. All right, here it goes. Huh? W what? The prickly vine fragment, it disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature? No, no, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight. It analyzes the reflected light. Uh, there are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? It seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon, there are plants that get killed by moon. Oh, okay, so it's exactly what we said. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I've also heard of plants like that. Well, I'm glad the tool is working. Thanks. I think I can rid get rid of the vines now. I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Hi, Bengi. In the name of the moon, I appraise you. I have to sneeze. <coughs> ah! How are you, Benji? Thank you. Here's the thing. <gasps> I fly to America in less than 24 hours! I try not to be too jealous. <laughs> what a long flight. It's fun, though. Oh! 
Ow! a farming sim of sorts. You play a little witch. Um, I don't have a net yet. So there's no real reason to do that. Oh, wrong one. Um, we're a little witch, and yeah, we it's like a gathering game. So we gather materials and we make potions. Um, uh, we're still like really in the beginning of the game. this but but I wish it would let me investigate like all of these little statues <laughs> oh search the drawers in the witch's house Fine, I guess I will. Let's get this started on the Moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all of that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining. Keep searching. You've only gone through three books. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Oh, let's see. Um, bitter grape tea tree. Bitter grape tea tree, the tree we saw at the summit, the glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm... Tea leaves, taste like grapes, strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, 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 blah. It's also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Oh, moonflower, it was here. There's still more. Oh, hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time. On moonless nights, the moonflower blooms. On a moonless night? But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, the moonflower will bloom. It's a commonly used method back in Lucerne or two. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, shoo them away, and collect the moonflower. Okay, wait, so he just knew that? Could have saved us a lot of fucking time, my dude. Okay, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies, make lunar oil, and remove the vines. But what do we use to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight. A sunlight potion should work. Okay, let's make a sunlight potion and get rid of those butterflies. Teach a witch to fish. <laughs> something, something, teach a witch to fish. Something, something, something. I don't think I have. Oh, I do! Which flower? Maple. Okay. Don't worry, 
sorry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Do you really want to go now? Did you do everything you want to do? Um, I still have stuff to do. Then stop wasting time. If you're done, we'll talk to Rub Rum and go. Rub Rum like, yo, what's down there? You can trust me. You can trust me, we're buds, we're best friends. Okay, they're stuck to the tree as expected. Wow, there are tons of shining butterflies. You're gonna make them all go away now? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's fine, it's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here it goes. the butterflies going wouldn't they go back to where they came from but the flower oh oh over there over there oh my god they bloom so fast it's so beautiful oh it really really is beautiful now we can just pick up moon flowers and make lunar oil rub rum can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there we'll come as soon as the moon oil is ready well oh okay I'll be waiting in front of the vines. Okay, let's go to the dispensary. I should make lunar oil. Nice. Hell yeah. Ellie, I hope you haven't forgotten. For lunar oil, you need a phoenix feather. There's no way we can find a phoenix around here. We have a phoenix feather right here. You told me all about it earlier. What, what? Oh, Ellie, that is not a good idea. If we do that, you might not be able to get back on the train. We might not make it to High Lion. A witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it most. That again. You just like it here better. Well, of course. You just don't like the witch's house in High Lion. That's true. Stop being childish. You're gonna regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. You have to be smart about this. Ugh. Powder made from burning phoenix feathers. Great! I have all of the ingredients now. Ellie, you're worse than Arya sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That, it, that wasn't a compliment. Okay, let's make some lunar oil. <clears throat> Moonflower water. No! One moment. Stage one, do not stir. All right, woohoo, the lunar oil is ready. Let's go get rid of that prickly vine. I'm here, let's hurry up and get rid of these annoying vines. Um, huh? Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me. Oh, don't worry about that. This was my choice. It's what I really wanted to do. It's my choice. Oh, thanks, Ellie. It's not a big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. 
You gonna stay here? Yeah, I think I'll stay here as an apprentice. Oh, really? 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 Keep up the good work, Rubrum. Okay, keep up the good work too, Ellie. Hurry up, go home. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say that stuff that makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all if I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter. That's what they'll say. Well, that's great. I already told you it's not a compliment. Okay, well, let's head to the village now. I finally arrived at the village! Yep, it's certainly a village. What kind of village will it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. That um, would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry and go. Oh, begin my apprenticeship. Oh, what is all this? It's quite a dull sight. Virgil, how's the village that you have to stay in for three years? Do you feel like going back to High Lion? What the heck happened here? What is this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited. Ugh, I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see prickly vines growing only on houses. No, 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 that's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school picnic. Something just feels familiar. Well, let's find Rubrum. Oh my god. Guys, is this game gonna be like, oh no, all these houses abandoned because of vines. Oh shoot, if only someone, if only somebody could fix up this town and then people would move in. If only, uh, oh, if only someone would put in the, 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 the elbow grease, you know? Oh shoot. Well, I guess it's gotta be me. I guess it's gonna be me. <clears throat> If only there was some kind of little witch, you know? Nothing but ruins here. Ah, it's so sad. Look at all these, look at all these ruins that someone could live in, maybe. I guess it's a restaurant. The house looks fine. A restaurant in a village like this. Can you do business at a place like this? <laughs> oh no, it's Witch Harvest Moon. It is exactly Witch Harvest Moon, yeah. Peddler visit how hour hours? Oh my god. Peddler visit hours 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, Ellie. Thanks for helping me get home. Oh, it's nothing special, but it really looks like no one's in the village. Oh, yeah, many of them left after the prickly vines grew. Now we only have Uncle Arden's and my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it, it's okay. Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. And there are also lots of fun things in the forest. Uh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? Well, they say not at these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. This must be the village bulletin board! So this is where they post all their chores. It's also filled with other people's exciting stories, but there's nothing here right now. Oh. Welcome, witch. You've done a great job with helping my grandchild, thank you. Oh no, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Anit, chief of the village, even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. Oh, what happened in the village? And what are all the prickly vines? Did you take a look around? Yeah, I saw houses covered with vines, and they didn't look like ordinary ones. One day, three years ago... 
those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? There were already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at village entrance. It was the one originally growing in the village, but I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first- oh my god, look at her face. At first they were saying things like, God's punishment, or, or monster, or witch's curse. Wipe off your drool, Ellie, it's a serious story. There were lots of rumors. No one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without explanation. Oh, well, uh, um, uh, oh, well, 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 what happened to the villagers? Well, no one was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Only Arden and I are left to protect. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Oh, thank you for saying that, but it's too late now. What? Well, all the houses have been ruined. Everyone left. It's not a village. Just two old people with a lot of regrets protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should leave. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. But I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want, but leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen! High Lion is boring as hell. Virgil, bad word! Ellie, there are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Oh, <clears throat> this is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. Even if the vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. Ellie, people left. Time has passed. I don't think those driven out by prickly vines will ever want to come back. No, they, they would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village. You've been cultivating it all your life, and and eat and eat. Sure, I can't let the village get taken away by weird vines. I can't keep saying prickly vines; it's starting to lose its meaning. <laughs> prickly vines has been said so many times; it's lost meaning. One brain cell. Yes, you are right, but uh, well, let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I. You look tired. Rub Rum looks like he needs to rest as well. Uh, okay. Don't scold Rubrum too much. All right, get some rest. You too, Anit. Temple of the Cat God? Based on the sign, there should have been a road. The sign is broken, so the road is blocked. Maybe the God is angry. Angry at what? I don't think they realize. I'm a little witch. In the woods. I'm here to I'm here to do some shit, you know? I'm here to do witch stuff. A bag dropped here. People here are sloppy. Well, let's take it for now and try to find the owner. trying to do. Anita's is right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no mm, houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. Well, the people will come back. How can you be so sure? It's your first time in this village. If you're just being ridiculous. No, no. I heard it. The villagers want to come back. 
Wh what Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream. That's absurd. No, it's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village. You know, th that Anita's lived in for all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as Anit. You know, you also just met Anit for the first time. I can tell even if we met for the first time, there was a, 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 a throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house? Even, even if the prickly vines are removed. There are two old people and one child. Oh, you're right. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. So first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. Be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. Maybe I will have a dream. Maybe I will have a cool dream and meet a cool carpenter. Stupid hat. What do you know? It's free, it's free real estate. Let's go to bed. Did you meet your flying carpenter? I don't know. Seems like I had a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something? This is your first day as an apprentice witch. Of course not. Are you ready to start your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course. Do you know what to do? Um, let me ask what Anit thinks first. Although she will naturally approve, it will start from the moment she approves. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the vines. Remember, we don't have any phoenix feathers left. It'll work out. Let's go to Anit first. Oh, hello. Are you a carpenter? <laughs> Um, hi, this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane Greenwind who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. I'm Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Yeah, nice to meet you, Ellie. Um, what I must help you with today is you are registering for the first time. Oh, yeah, that's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog. So just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting. I need to see the master witch before registering. So like, is she inside or what? Uh, the master witch? Yeah, I need the master witch's signature to register in the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, uh, that's, um, I'm, um, hey, Ellie. Uh, huh, huh? Fooling around while I'm out. Oh, oh. Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, of course I didn't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the master witch is at someplace else now. Are you talking through the hat? Y yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes. I'm sorry, I was about to tell you. Oh, sure, then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the master witch is like technically here. <laughs> so you'll also receive a gift if you join now. Wow, a gift, what is it? A witch's broom, it is like soups easy to use. A witch broom, oh, finally. You can just like sign here and here. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, that one, and then I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Okay, so like every morning, a witch's catalog employee will come. In this case, it's me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm planning to be here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and you can just like purchase items that you need from me during that time. Uh, we don't accept gold coins, only Luna coins. Oh, what is a Luna coin? Luna coins are like the currency used in witch society. It's soups weird that you don't know that. <laughs> it's called a Luna coin because it's made of an ore with the power of like the moon or whatever. Don't you know already? Weren't you also raised in a witch society? Um, I probably learned that in school, but I don't think I called money some, I don't think I called money something, whatever. After all, only Luna coins are used in witch society. But how do I get them? I guess you don't have enough. What? Basically, yes. What this conversation is so, is worded so weird. 
The witch administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for an incident. So like, please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of type. Oh ho. Okay, got it. There's also like a special potion delivery service. Every day of the week we buy potions at a higher price. So you can select one out of three in the list provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, you, you just like don't want to miss out, you know. It's a Korean game. Oh, is it? Yeah, I figured that it, it couldn't have been in English originally, but I didn't know like the country of origin for it. Merchants buy extra potions according to special rules. Deliver the requested potion to get more rewards. So like, do you have any other questions? No, not anymore. All right, then feel free to talk to me if you like need anything. Um, yeah, what is it? The gift? Oh yeah, right, S sorry. I'll totally give it to you now. A broom! Wow, thank you. Finally, my own broom. You can move faster on a broom. Have a nice day. This has been Diane Greenwind at the Witch's Catalog. Do you think it went well? Yeah, looks like the urgent fire is out. How's my acting skill? Yo, I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was an act being dumbfounded. Might become a problem later on. I told you I'm good at acting. No, not your poor acting skill. The fact that there's no master witch here. The master witch must be at the witch's house. We can't just have an apprentice. Can't you just keep a acting? How long is that gonna work? There's still the matter of the witch who was originally here at this house. It would be nice if we knew who that witch was. The witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Well, let's ask the villagers. We'll deliver potions with the broom for now. You need to get to Enit. Oh, you're right. Well, but there's no need for urgency. Potion delivery quest and his apprenticeship that you choose to do as needed. Uh, okay. Diane? Diane? Oh, hello. This is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane to bring you happiness. Oh, hi. It's you, Ellie. What's up? Oh, sorry. That was like soups unprofessional. Oh, did something happen? Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to like tell you that because we like literally just met. Oh, well, what is it? Maybe I can help. Ellie, do you remember the potion purchase service? Recently, there have been several reports of bad potions. Trust in the witch's catalog's potion quality. Trust in the administration. Uh, as a result, the administration issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test suspicious potions. Problem is, uh, the witch's houses I'm in charge of are related to suspicious potions. As you know, Ellie, potion quality is also a matter of a witch's confidence. You can't do it yourself, Diane? I need a witch to accompany me with a test for certification. If it's all right, can I like ask for like your help? It's a small reward, but I made some Nabicula cupcakes. <gasps> Nabicula cupcakes, my mom would buy one for me on a weekend if I had been good that week. So naturally I've hardly had any. Okay, yeah, I'll help. Thanks, take this first. A potion that temporarily supplies a large amount of nutrients to a plant. And... A bird cage to start testing as soon as possible. I also caught a sprout bird. You can throw the nutrition potion to the sprout bird and when the results appear, gather them and take a look. Then I'll record the details like um, the date, weather, time, wind direction, you know, etc., etc. Also, please let me know if you make a bad throw. You're very serious about this. Whoa. One, two, three, four. Four flowers have bloomed. Hmm. Moderate temperature, mild wind, low humidity. Great. Fortunately, the potions here seem totes normal. It went well, right? Yeah, we can like relax. At least one of them is normal. This is the reward I promised, Nabicula cupcakes. Hooray. I requested this as a test this time, but using potions to collect will be much more convenient. There's a saying that the witch's house, which supplies the most potions every year, uses just as much. Tips about using potions can be found in the encyclopedia, BT dubs. 
few information about using potions in the catalog. Got it. Again, like, thanks for your help or whatever. Have a nice day, Ellie. Leave the flowers. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm fucking talking about. delivery list. lifting candies, right? Yeah. Fur extract and maple herb extract. I think I have fur extract in here. No, but I do have fur. Arden's bag. Oh, Uncle Arden. Okay, so he just lives in the... In town. Hold on, I gotta go squeeze a couple rabbits. Come here, little stinkers. No. No, ma'am. get off how do I stop this okay <laughs> bird flower water maple herb and squishy chub Three dumpster. Oh my god, Sherlock, I need you to chill. I'm begging, buddy. He's downstairs just like, meow! All right, let's go. Delivery complete. Wait a second. Did you know you can upgrade work tools with Luna coins you've earned? Experience a revolutionary crafting environment. My goal is to get off work on time. <laughs> okay. You can improve the tools used for processing and crafting in the witch's house. Using better tools, you can make bigger quantities of ingredients or potions at once. I figured that must be an upgrade that happened eventually. Because I was like, I have to do this one at a time? Definitely not. <laughs> Be sure to give it a try. It is like soups convenient. You can upgrade processing tools. You can make ingredients or potions in bigger quantities. You need 70 Luna coin, 12 branches, and six pieces of rock. 
I don't got that, baby. Let's look at the witch's catalog. <gasps> twinkle, twinkle juice. <gasps> A bug net. Yes, please. Potion. Frog roast, wetland grass water, and blue moon butterfly extract. Baked tinkle spider, bush bug, and smile bubbles. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday. I'm still not sure. But the villagers! Yes, you mean that they would want to come back. I don't know why you're more confident than me. I've lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I've decided to believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in the house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry, it won't happen. Ellie, you're very nice. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Oh, I, I guess so. Who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by chance? I think the first thing we need is a carpenter, you know, to fix the house. Oh, of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belonged to Kyla, who is a carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me! I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. Okay, let's get started. Keep in mind, we don't have information. Nor do we have a phoenix. First thing to do is collect information. So we'll look around Kyla's house and collect information. Um, let's think about the phoenix later. Would that be okay? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna just zen out and pick a bunch of weeds. Which is not what the game told me to do, but is what I want to do. So take that. Bye, Amarian! must be the house of a person named Kyla. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know the location, we'll ask the other villagers.
No. Okay, fine. Is there anywhere for me to lay down here? Oh. Oh. You're, um, some kind of a witch? Yeah, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden, a dragon and a cook. Do you help Rubrum? You're pretty kind. Oh, don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even Mom said that she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure, but you're a real dragon. I've never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Dragons have no reason to mingle with humans. I think I was like that, too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes. I don't remember now. Kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. Although it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping Rubberum. Take it. It's free. Beef bread! <laughs> I thought he was a gator too. Bro, this straw is killing me. One sec. Oh, hell yeah, God. I'm such a god gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that. You didn't hear that. Thank you. I'll enjoy it. It's the last one remaining. Did you promise to get rid of those prickly vines? Yes, that's right. Hmm. But will you be able to do it? Of course. I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. That is some confidence. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? I have, a, I have a thingy. I have a thingy for you. I have, I have your stuff, I think. I have a thingy. Just in case you know something. I don't know much about the prickly vine. I just feel the malice filled in it. Malice? The prickly vines that only destroy houses, it's unnatural. If it's not someone's malice, what would it be? Is there someone who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know anything. <laughs> How about searching through the witch's house at least? Okay, sure. And on the way to the witch's house, do me a favor. What kind? I lost a bag containing an important ingredient. I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try and find it. I remember carrying it into the village. Oh, I picked up a bag next to the river. Is this the one by any chance? That's the one. More beef bread. I was looking for it. Take this. I will. God, I can't believe how much beef bread we've got. I'm a dragon. Right. I'm also a cook. I wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me. What more do you want to know? Why is a dragon working as a cook? Well, I forgot. How can you forget? I guess it wasn't important. <laughs> that doesn't seem so. How would you know when even I've forgotten? Because you're a dragon. Correct. And also a cook? Well, of course. What's the problem? The problem is that you forgot. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Goodbye. Oh, he blows the fire with his mouth. That's cute. Oh, right. But I can sleep here, right? What about here? <laughs> Can I sleep somewhere, please? Oh, here we go. Right? Let me sleep, please. Wait, can I only sleep at the one next to my house? Ah! Bye, everybody. What is wrong 
something like this. Looks like we need to dig the broom a grave for the 12th time. No, the durability's just low. I barely wrote it. What could you expect from a free gift? Did it just explode? Yeah, literally the second I got home, it blew up. I think there was a workbench at the workplace. I can fix it in there. All I need is a branch or some mud. Sure, let's try that. Okay, we. Oop. Nothing. Maintenance is a standard course at school. I remember the broom you were working on. It flew as it spewed water from the behind. Well, I wanted it to spit fire, but water was cool too. You're lucky it was summer and it wasn't fire. No one would have laughed if it wasn't one of those two. It was just the once. I can fix it if I had the right materials. Branch or mud. They can be easily found in the forest. Branch or mud. Right, not branch and mud, ma'am. Right? Yay, I repaired my broom my branch mud. <laughs> I don't know if I would trust a flying broom patched up with mud. It's fine. Um. Oh, right! I have this now. Tiptoeing can be slow. I forgot that I had this now. It's very exciting. I'm going to sleep. Four, five. Sure. Yay! But I didn't get anything out of that, huh? It just I just turn them off that way. The pollen that bursts from the bud as it flowers can be collected. Silver starbell pollen. Okay, I see. So you do it once, and then again. No! Okay, fine, I'm going to bed. Fine, whatever, I'm sleeping. I'm not sleepy yet? I have no stam, girl. What do you mean, just go to bed? Ugh, I want to die. Ridiculous, this world.
can't use this item. But I can't put them over there? Why not? Okay, finally. Time to get up. Where did you go, Virgil? It's just in your head. Why are you talking nonsense after a good night's rest? What? But you weren't there. Stop sleep talking. Wash your face. Oh, was it just a dream? Maybe. What you got for me today, Diane? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, two healing candies. I can do that. Flower and maple herb. Okay, easy enough. That's my house. This way. Me watching War RP in GTA, also me modding this cute as fuck game. War RP? Goodness. GTA is a different world, dude. I guess if I use the growing potion on that, that's 
how I would get across, I think. Cute witches do be cute. Cute chaos witches uh, coming soon to a town near you. It goes away and it feels like you're doing crimes down here. Who says I'm not? Actually save. I'll save in the game. <laughs> I will save because it's nearly time for me to peace out. <sighs> what a cute game, dude. Very, very cute. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Um I will be streaming again later. It's Final Fantasy XIV night. We are deep in Endwalker spoilers. So if you don't want to see Endwalker stuff, um, uh, maybe don't swing by. But that's not the case if you really don't care about the game. Um, or, you know, uh, or if you've played it already or whatever. If you're in a situation where you don't care about spoilers and you're looking for something to watch and you want to hang out with two moms shooting the shit, and getting emotional over Final Fantasy XIV characters, then uh, come hang out. That'll be in like three, three and a half hours. But in the meantime, uh, oh my god. <clears throat> we had some Valentines. Green Uncle Jay said, to all those that pour a cup of coffee, forget where they left that cup. Five minutes later, pour another cup. Find the original cup immediately after or find five partially drank cups of coffee throughout the house later in the day. <laughs> T. Drake says, hi, chat and Dodger. Um, my dog Milo helped me propose to my girlfriend yesterday and she said, yes. Yeah, we read this earlier. It's amazing. Thank you for all the support on Discord and Sam's Discord and everyone and everyone. Alex said, sending big love to Free, who just landed her first job since moving to the UK. Yay! Congrats, Free! Fantastic news. Yes, Sherlock? Hey, Bobby. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> you just came in here like, Mom! Mom! <laughs> What a goofball. What a cute goofball. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Hi. Yeah, you. Okay, let's see. Three days ago. That is too far. Grandmaster Sal, thank you for the five years. Happy anniversary. Manic Arts, thank you for the 10. Quandum for the 25. Killix for the 68. 
Silpha for the 80, Dee Dee Dun did it for the 43, Vineth for the 7, Wolven for all the gifted subs, Conical Coffee for the 26, Odd Job for the 19, Bravest Booty for the 1 year, Happy Anniversary, Jorde for the 14, Lowy for the 50, Sir Whip Cracker for the 3, A11 for the 74, Ursa HD for the 20, If I Fell for the 27, um, 4 p.m. in the a.m. for the 15, Ronan Riker for the 71. Thank you very, very much. Oh, is that my child? Sure is. No raid leaders. So let me find someone. What the heck? What is going on? There we go. Yes, my love. I'm just finding someone to raid and then I'm shutting my stream off, darling, and then we can hang. No, I was oh, you were talking to daddy. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Yes, my love. Hello. Did Dad, you have fun? Daddy said that I can play a game on my tablet in bed. And when I'm ready to fall asleep, I can fall asleep. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's very kind. You definitely need to take a bath, though. So bath first, okay? I'll run a bath for you when I'm done. Let's see. It's um. Yeah, that's ben pretty. Woo! It's Benji's birthday, so we're gonna go say hi to Benji. Sorry, that was probably very loud. <laughs> if it's a consolation, it was also uh, very loud for me. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Um, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're looking for something to watch later, I'll see you in a few hours. Otherwise, um, tomorrow's my day off, so I will not be around, but I will be back on Thursday. Okay? See ya. Bye bye.